So when you have this uh, uh, interconnects uh, fail, so what our switch really does is we'll have multiple interconnects for our VoIP connection. If one interconnect fails, it automatically switches over to the next one. So that as a user, you would not really figure out that there is a glitch in your uh, uh, SIP connectivity. So that's that's how uh, this entire uh, uh, VoIP solution works. So uh, I think to take this further along with the slides, uh, Binish, you can uh, take over from here and I will yeah. be available uh, for Q&A at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sabapati. Um, so that is uh, that is a nice introduction to VoIP. OK, and uh, uh, my request to participants uh, uh, is that if you have any queries, uh, please start putting that in your chat. So on your right hand side, we have the chat option. Please put your comments there. We will be answering your uh, questions in the uh, question answer session. OK, so now uh, let me let me uh, take you through a complete presentation on why what what Astex uh, has in stock to offer you guys uh, when it comes to uh, reduce the telecom expense. OK. So in the high hope the, the screen is uh, visible to everyone. OK, so uh, when it when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, uh, VoIP minutes, there are there are set of things. There are set of things that we can do with, uh, you know, the VoIP. So uh, typically, if you ask why you choose the Aztec voice, uh, the Aztec VoIP. So there are certain reasons. So we will be explaining these things uh, in detail in coming presentation. The first thing is that you will be little surprised to see, you know, our solution helps to save 91% on international phone bills, right? The IST, uh, IST calls. Okay. So why it is 91%? So there is a there is a very genuine case study which we will be explaining uh, in the coming slides. So we will explain how up to 90, 91% of your ISD international telecom bill can be reduced you using an effective VoIP solution. Okay. The next which we will be discussing is about you know the wide range of uh, you know the the VoIP minutes which is available eight to set VoIP minutes. When we say eight to set in VoIP scenario, which means you know to make calls to you know uh, near to 140 countries right so a to set minutes the availability of a to set minutes and dids so what is a did did is a direct inward dialing for example it's a virtual uh, here we are talking about the virtual dids okay uh, for example a company uh, which which has established in us okay um, but they have offices across the globe okay for example in Astex case uh, we have a, a us did number so what happens is that we can publish that DID number in our website and the US customers, they can call that local number, but the call will land in India, right? A lot of international call centers use the DID functionalities. Okay. Then another thing is that the, the, the flexibility uh, and scalability as per your business requirement. The VoIP is more and more adopted when business is becoming more and more international and global. Okay. So today we have customers uh, who is establishing call centers at multiple countries uh, on the go just because you know they can they can use voip as their access numbers uh, voice as, as their access numbers so uh, by adopting the uh, by adopting voip it enables the flexibility and scalability then you can typically uh, you can convert uh, i request our audience to please 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 mute please mute i think we can see a lot of background noises uh, okay. please mute okay okay thank you um okay so uh, uh view typically there is a there is a notion that the the vibe minutes are compatible only with the new generation ippvx right that is not the scenario typically you can you can you can you can convert your you are uh, the existing EPA VX into an IPP VX. So we have, uh, you know, certain devices like LCR gateway, which we will be discussing about it in our uh, latest, uh, you know, uh, slides. Okay. Then the support easy to easy to set up and configure and HD voice quality. So these are the parameters which, which, uh, you know, make a customer compelled to go with a VoIP solution. Okay. So we move to. Okay, so um, Aztec's wife for your business. So here, 
normally you know the there is an understanding in the market is that when it comes to VoIP minutes it can be used only in call centers but that is not the scenario okay so the the maximum VoIP uh, is used by the big enterprises okay we ourselves so I was telling I, 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 I was telling that we have a very very uh, used case how a company has saved near to 90% of its telecom expense. Let us take the example of Astex itself. See, Astex uh, does business near to 40 countries, right? A uh, few months, up to few months back, you know, uh, uh, we were using the traditional uh, telephone lines to make international calls. So we have an international team who will be day in and day out making lots of calls to the international customers to reach out to them. So we were using our GSM and our uh, the PRA solution to make calls and our average monthly bill uh, per month was in the range of 55 to 60,000, right? The average will bill per month, okay? But as we are expanding more, we thought this cost is coming very high. Is there a way to reduce the cost? And we started adopting VoIP. Today, if you take the entire Aztecs international cost goes, goes over the VoIP and our monthly expense is reduced to something around 40 to 50, uh, uh, 4,000 to 8,000 rupees. No, maximum it is something in the range of 8,000 rupees. See, from 60,000, we are able to reduce our international calling cost to 8,000 rupees, right? Just migrating to a uh, migrating to a VoIP solution. So this is what when we say, you know, where, how, you know, uh, uh, how you can reduce your telecom expense up to 90%. You know, up to 90%. So this is a, this is the exact used case scenario that we ourselves has gone through. So here in this slide, what we are trying to explain is that it just comparison. You know, we have taken a U.S. You know, for example, let us take a company which is making uh, calls to U.S. Right. So he has two options. One is he can make calls using its. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you can using your traditional uh, PRA line. So. Uh, in today's scenario, if you make a call to US over a PRA line or a PSTN or a GSM, it is approximately in the range of 12 rupees. Uh, it, it's all in rupees, okay? It, it, approximately, it is 12 rupees. But at the same time, if you, you know, uh, configure the VoIP, right, you can reduce, uh, you know, something around, we have given here 90, 90, 90 paise. See, from, from 12 rupees to 90 paise. Right, all your US calls, both mobile and landline, it will be in the range of something around 90 paise. So, this is the you know cost saving from, from 12 rupees to 90 paise. This is the cost saving which we are talking about, right? So, uh, it is not only the call centers, we can approach all the enterprises who is making international calls. What we have to do is that we have to just approach these big enterprises and just ask them. Okay, how much international calls you guys are doing? Okay, typically these companies, what they do, they are not much bothered what means they are they are using to make international calls because in big companies nobody is much bothered about the costing. The users are not much bothered. But if you can show them, yes, you are you you are paying the high price, so we have a better solution which can help you to reduce something around to 60 to 90 percent of your international calling cost. The customers will be willing to adopt more and more the wipe to make their international calls okay so this is how the enterprises can start using a wipe as a service as we move ahead then the second category the market category that we have is that the call centers right of course the call centers definitely will use the VoIP minutes okay so any international call centers you take there are two types of call centers the domestic call centers and international call centers you take any international call centers they will be using here and there the VoIP uh, as part of their calling service okay so why um, you know when it comes to international call centers we have uh, the mainly the the, the 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 maximum calling countries are us canada australia uk and Euro european countries and for all these countries we have VoIP minutes, which can which can help them, which can help them to reduce their telecom expense, their overall telecom expense to a great, you know, to a great extent, in the extent of 60% to 90%. Okay, and when it comes to a call center, the another important uh, you know, feature is that the DIDs. For example, in Bangalore, uh, you know, you have a lot of international uh, support centers. Um, for example, IBM or HP, all their support centers runs from India. Okay, 
but they support they, they are not only supporting the indian customer that their main customers are from us canada all these countries but uh, you know uh, so a us customer to reach a support center of a dell they are not calling an indian number instead what they have done is that they you know that the the dell has taken a you know uh, the us did number the virtual number which is configured in india so irrelevant of your geographical location you can have the local dids of a particular country and calls can be routed to any destinations over internet okay so you can migrate to a low cost areas where you can set up your call centers all the call centers are functioning in that you know in this way okay so the vibe can be you know can be configured for call centers to reduce their call um, their calling charges for the accessibility purpose okay then the voice quality so now in the, in the long distance calls because of the qos all these uh, services the more better hd voice clarity you will get using the vibe right because the internet also has improved the lag between calls will be very less if you you know if you start using the voip so because of these reasons a lot of call centers are adopting voip minutes okay as their primary you know the 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 channel to make international calls okay so uh, so now uh, another, so we have discussed about uh, the uh, voip minutes for the enterprises then we have discussed vibe minutes for the call centers then there is a uh, there is a question a lot of our partners and customers will ask us uh, we are using a traditional pbx and uh, not traditional in the sense it may be compatible with uh, uh, it may be compatible with the pri line so to configure a vibe you mainly require uh, you know an ip pbx so uh, so it will be very difficult for a company which is already using a epbx or a pbx to you know replace their existing entire infrastructure to make it compatible with uh, voip okay so in such customers we have a beautiful solution uh, you know we can we say we can we can convert or upgrade your existing legacy epa bx to a voip compatible pbx how we do is that see in this diagram if we can if we can if we can go through the diagram so there is a there is a pbx which which customer is using okay then we give that customer an lcr gateway okay what is an lcr gateway the lcr stands for least cost routing right least cost routing okay so there is an lcr gateway lcr gateway is a product which is mainly an ip product there is a, there is a, there is one more slide where we talk about lcr gateway in detail okay so this lcr gateway is compatible with the epa bx okay so how we how we make it compatible with epabx is basically a pri it's basically a you know uh, uh, it's, it's basically a pri uh, pri to pri pairing so only thing which we require from the epabx is that epabx should have a pri port or it should be a compatible with pri so the lcr gateway has a inbuilt pri so you connect the L, uh, lcr gateway to uh, the existing pbx then along with that see the voip is only one part of it okay when once you start using connect the lcr gateway to your pbx you can use basically three trunk lines one is gsm the other one is basically the voip the other one is the pri it can it can it can it can also help you to you know connect the pri so so uh, uh, just connecting the lcr gateway you can suddenly configure voip into this gateway so any calls which comes Uh, which comes from your extensions based on the the lcr logic that is that is configured in the lcr gateway the calls can get routed either it can be over voip or it can be over gsm or it can be over uh, pri okay so uh, that is that is how the lcr gateway helps to upgrade your existing epa bx into into a voip you know compatible pbx okay hope uh, uh, no uh, this this point is clear so what we are going to say is that we can we can make any existing epabx only uh, one criteria is that they should have the, the existing pbx should have a pri compatibility if you have a pri then we can connect a lcr gateway then you can have multiple range of multiple range of uh, the trunk lines from gsm from voip to pri 
and which one is cost effective for example a, an employee is making a call and it's an interna international number automatically the, it will automatically um, you know the the pbx will take the wipe route okay the call will go through the the call will go through the wipe hence customer has the option to select the least cost route okay that is what the lcr gateway does okay so we move ahead so lcr gateway little more about lcr gateway so lcr gateway so in the in the, the previous slide i have just explained to you about the lcr gateway just as a connector to connect between your existing epa bx and the voip or other trunk lines okay the lcr gateway is little more in fact okay the lcr gateway can give you a lot of ip features for example okay of course the no this this part talks about uh, you know the connecting the trunk it can connect to gsm voip and uh, you know the, the pri but at the same time it can also give you it can also give you a set of features like for example ivr okay maybe maybe an epabx will have a very limited ivr feature maybe it will have just an auto attendant welcome message and one or two messages but you wanted to have little lengthier ivr nine levels or sub levels of ivr okay our lcr gateway can provide that functionality or enable the pbx to have a lengthy multiple level ivr okay so lcr gateway also can provide you with a cdr functionality and lcr the least costing uh, you know the lcr functionality itself is another feature the call handling and ip extensions so uh, if the customer wanted to wanted to have a few ip extensions normally what happens in an epa epa bx uh, you know normally it is not possible to have an ip extension if it is an hybrid pbx you can buy ip cards and configure uh, no uh, you know configure with your pbx to make it an ip pbx or have no no some ip extensions but by by having or connecting lcr gateway to your uh, ip pbx we can provide you a certain so we have different models of lcr gateway based on that you can have number of ip extensions as well okay so this is what lcr gateway is okay it will have a lcr intelligent call routing features it can take a set of trunks typically all the trunk lines which is available pri gsm and voip which is the latest trunk lines and it also can provide you with certain level of ivr you know uh, the the ip features right like cdr ivr call handling ip extensions and those ip features okay so this is what eight you know the lcr gateway uh, you know actually can do uh, you know uh, for your pbx upgrading it to into a next level of you know ip pbx without changing any of your infrastructure okay so we move ahead we move ahead to the next okay so here we are trying to explain um, a few uh, uh, technical specifications of our lcr gateway but i think that is that is not very relevant here we uh, uh, it's basically a you know uh, ip box which is compatible with all other uh, trunk lines so we we don't spend much time on this slide let's move ahead okay so here what we are trying to do is that um, you know um, we wanted to uh, again you know uh, so the all agenda of this training you know this this webinar is to how to reduce your telecom expense here we are trying to give a you know uh, a cost comparison uh, between between uh, you know a call center right so let us let's us just go through and let us see how much uh, how much cost end of the day uh, a company can save you can see which which i just marked so when overall you calculate you know calculate okay uh, otherwise your cost would have been something around you know 13 lakhs 86000 you will be able to reduce it into 1 lakh 18000 rupees so this is what we call it as you know a 90% uh, reduction so this is just a understanding purpose okay for example we have taken a 30 agent call center okay 30 agent call center it's a us calling okay per agent per minute we say 30 minutes uh, you know sorry 300 minutes you know uh, talk time per agent per day so if you if you take you know a talk time per agent per month it is 660 you know 6600 minutes so if you take a total you know 30 agents per month 
uh, what will be their total uh, talk time it is in the range of i uh, know 1 lakh 198000 minutes 100 and, uh, 1 lakh 98 or 198000 minutes will be a 30 agent call center per month talk minutes right so uh, the scenario one uh, the, let us assume the customer is using a pri line so pri line us we have taken a moderate price is 7 rupees okay a 7 rupee per minute and 198,000 minutes, it will be in the range of something around, you know, 1 lakh 38,000 uh, rupees per month their telecom expense. But the same scenario in the scenario in the scenario two, we have taken a VoIP. So customer, that there is a second customer using VoIP minutes with the same strength. Okay, because the VoIP minutes, yeah, 13 lakh 66,000. Yes. So um, the uh, the same customer the another customer is using the same uh, operational strength and but he is using his his telephone channel as a VoIP right VoIP so VoIP it is 60 paise it is it is 60 call it Hello. 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 Can you hear? Yeah. Can you hear? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Binish, you are audible now. We can continue. Okay. Thank you. So, so the point is that by using the uh, the VoIP route, you will be able to save a huge cost in your entire you know telecom expense. Okay. So now what Aztecs has to offer to all our partners and customers. So this is this is something this Aztecs is uh, now uh, venturing into. So we already have a set of customers uh, using our wipe services and we really see a very good cost reduction you know, with all these customers. So we wanted to extend this service to all our partners. Okay, the partners can take uh, we have a we have a separate uh, the price list for almost all the countries uh, the uh, partners can get those price lists and start approaching their existing customers or the existing big enterprises and start talking about the VoIP minutes and how they can reduce their entire telecom expense okay also you can talk about our LCR gateways and other feature functionalities okay so uh, the implementing voice is very simple so uh, you have a requirement or you know uh, you you have a prospect you pick you know you can speak to our, your partner managers or your uh, we have a separate uh, voip uh, uh, division you can we will be connecting them to you you can discuss with them and you, you know very very simple steps and a few simple steps a company can implement uh, the voip so talk to our sales experts you know, confirm the rates, which all countries you wanted to make the calls, the US, Canada, you select your countries from our rate card, confirm the rates, okay, okay. 
then once you confirm the rate purchase it is all prepaid model so you make you know 100 you know you know 100 dollars or 200 dollars or 500 dollars as a prepaid okay you make the make the make the purchase then our technical team will configure it to uh, configure it uh, it into your ippbx or a call center solution okay then you will have an interface to track you know how what is your usage what is your charges how much is your prepaid amount how much is the balance okay and as you as you consume you can go ahead and start recharging it okay so this is with a very very simple step you can you can migrate uh, to a uh, no a VoIP infrastructure from a traditional uh, PSDN infrastructure. Okay, so here are uh, you know a sample uh, rates for your reference because I will not be able to share uh, a complete list because we have something around 140 countries at the minutes. Okay, so the, for example, you know these are these are the frequently called countries. So maybe maybe US. It is something it's all in INR. We have a dollar rates also. We will be able to share you the dollar uh, dollar rates as and when you require. Six paise, for example, Canada, nine paise. So everything is within paise. Okay. So Italy, Spain, UK, Malaysia, Germany, right, New Zealand, Norway, Iceland, all these countries. So these are a few ten countries which is frequently called. I just wanted to show you the I show you the <coughs> minute minutes part you know what is the approximate call cost uh, uh, approximate call cost okay so now uh, what we can uh, we can extend what we can extend to our customer is that we also we also have a we also have a plan wherein uh, uh, wherein we can we can we can provide something around uh, no five dollar if you have a prospective customer but before he wanted to before he wanted to uh, no uh, uh, enroll he wanted to try it out we have come up with a model where a uh, five dollar as a free demo minutes we can give it to the customer for them and we will configure it for him and he can he can he can start he, he can start using it okay so five dollar as a <clears throat> five dollar as a uh, as a as a uh, free uh, no free demo minutes so any interested customers you have please please start talking to them we can give them a five dollar minutes as a free minutes also we are coming up uh, we are coming up with uh, a bundled solution for example it is on demand because there are a lot of countries for example a company wanted to have a call center solution with VoIP minutes we can bundle it and we can have one uh, no uh, one rate including both call center solution and to void minutes So that is another solution which we have come up with Okay, based on your requirements you can start talking to uh, you know, your customers and get the get the rates Okay So I think this is what what about uh, the, uh, you know, the, the the wipe service that Astex can offer so now uh, this is uh, this is time for uh, question and answer I hope um, uh, in the chat, I can see a lot of people have put their uh, queries in the chat. Uh, uh, we will be. Uh, I hope uh, Sabha, you are also there. Yes. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Okay, so we will go through your questions. You will be uh, free to ask. Uh, I think in the chat, a lot of questions are there. Uh, let me let me start from the beginning. Okay, I think it is from uh, Ramana. Is everyone able to? Okay, this is not a question. Uh, what is the question? Okay, I think uh, somebody from Africa kindly uh, more on the VoIP solution as against legacy PRI line. Kindly explain more on the VoIP solution as against the legacy PRI okay okay i think uh, sabha you wanted to add to this or uh no in fact uh, uh, for that question i mean it, this was more as a uh, ah. we know what a legacy pri solution is so visa is yes. uh, uh, compared to that uh, how is wipe different is what was uh, explained as if, if you have yes. any specific questions on the vip thing yeah we can take it up okay okay i think uh, uh the 
uh, we have explained the difference between the legacy PRI line and a wipe. So PRI line, basically a, a telephone dedicated line which comes from the service provider. I'm just explaining for the for the benefit of the uh, the, the questioner. Um, uh, so it's a leg, uh, dedicated line which comes from the service provider with the limited channels, which will have if it's, if it's an even line, which will have 30 voice channels. Okay, um, and uh, but uh, so you should have. Uh, a dedicated telephone line coming from the service provider connected to your PBX. But when it comes to VoIP, VoIP is more flexible. VoIP is mainly works on the IP. It's more, mainly on the internet, right? And it is it is just a configuration. Okay, you can get the VoIP and you can configure it on your cloud, on your uh, PBX, over internet within your premise. Okay. Uh, so that is one difference. The second difference is that on the cost. So the legacy telephone lines are very, very costly still today. So the wipe, because it uses the internet as the primary channel, okay, and it gets interconnects once it reaches the destination, the call cost, the long distance call cost will be much less. Okay, so that is more about uh, VoIP and PRI. Okay, I think uh, we have another question from also, can your contact center solution interface with social media? I think, uh, okay, I'm just taking the random questions. I'm not getting in an order because a lot of messages are there. Okay, it is from um, uh, Emioni. Uh, okay, as asked, also, can your contact center solution interface with social media? Yes, of course. I think uh, our last webinar was on more of Aztec's integration with WhatsApp. So we can integrate with a lot of uh, you know uh, social media tools like WhatsApp, the website chat, all these things. Okay, all these things. So uh, you can get in touch with the salesperson. So we will explain more about. Uh, we have a presentation also how we can integrate with social media platforms. So to answer your question, yes, uh, Aztec solutions can be integrated with social media platform. Uh, Mr. Ramurthy has asked another question. Does LCR Gateway has two port PRA card so it can be integrated with EPABX? It can be integrated with EPABX. Yes, it will have two port uh, PRI. Uh, uh, so one port to integrate with you, the existing PBX. So uh, Ramurthy, if you have seen the uh, diagram, it's mainly, you uh, know, uh, it is integrated with the existing PBX, right? That, that's how it can give the uh, you know, capability of VoIP to the PBX. So it comes with Okay, um, so uh, uh, it comes with uh, uh, coming to Ramurthy's question that does the uh, LCR gateway comes with uh, two PRI ports? Yes, it comes with two PRI. Uh, it comes with the two PRI ports. Uh, it has a single port option also and two port option also. Single port is customer just wanted to connect the VoIP. Okay, two port if customer wanted to connect the PRI also as as one of their trunk. Okay, as one of their trunk. So we can give both the options, okay? I think um, uh, MUNA has asked one more question. How many GSM, VoIP, and PRI gateway connection be handled by LCR gateway unit? How many GSM, VoIP, and PRI gateway gateway connections can be uh, can be handled? So the uh, uh, the LCR gateway. So GSM uh, based on the see it can connect. Multiple GSM gateways, but mainly GSM gateway itself, you have multiple uh, ports, so four port, eight port, or 16 or 32 port. Based on your requirement, you can connect the GSM gateway. Why you can have multiple accounts configured, uh, you know, onto the LCR gateway. There is no limitations on that. Okay, then um, uh, okay, GSM, wipe and PRI. PRI is basically, uh, you know, basically one PRI line. 
you know that is what uh, currently we have the pri will be one pri line which you can connect uh, the option what we currently have so based on the customer requirement we may be able to you know make it uh, more uh, you know interfaces currently is available with one pri can we connect fxo gateway to lcr gateway of course i have not shown uh, in the uh, in the presentation the fxo but the FXO gateways can be connected uh, with the, the LCR gateway. There is no challenge. So that is one uh, uh, question. Um, Mansuk Balodia has asked, uh, please explain call manipulating in the LCR. Uh, please explain call manipulating in the. No, one of the features needs to Okay, okay, okay. So uh, basically, by call manipulating, we mean is that you can you can you uh, know. Uh, route the uh, uh, calls based on the uh, based on the least cost routes. For example, an extension is uh, going to make uh, an international call, and uh, we can do a configuration in a, in a in a such a way that that particular call will based on the prefix that call can take that that call takes the uh, VoIP route. You know, if VoIP is configured, right? So, so that the customer will get the least cost benefits. Okay. So, uh, at the same time, the customer is uh, the, the, the the customer is making a, a domestic call, but he's calling a mobile number, right? So, there are two domestic trunks. One is GSM, the other one is the PRI. Okay. Um, so, uh, which one is cheaper? So, based on the configuration, it can take the GSM gateway because a SIM to SIM, a mobile to mobile call will be much cheaper than a PRI to a landline to a mobile call. So based on based on the configurations which we, we we can do on the LCR gateway, you can do the routings based on that. So that is that's what it means. Um, Harish Sir has asked one question: Is the uh, market cost comparison is not between VoIP minutes and PR rates? Usually between VoIP. Okay, provider, where do we stand in this competition? Okay, so of course there are players in the market. Um, you know, uh, uh, there are white providers. Okay, so I think why we have why we have shown why we have shown um, the comparison between a PRI and VoIP is just to uh, show you a you know give you a you know a feeling. Uh, it's not that all the companies are using VoIP today, right? There are a lot of enterprises still to make international calls. They are using PRI as their primary uh, channel. Okay, to show that comparison, we are we have given that uh, example. But when it comes to wipe to wipe comparison, I think uh, maybe Sabapati can uh, add more uh, input to that. How competitive we will be in the market when it comes to wipe to wipe? It is not just the price. Maybe quality also matters. Maybe Sabapati can explain a little more on the qualities and services and the you know there are set of providers who is licensed and non-licensed, the gray market, which is very important when it comes to the wipe. So over to you, Mr. Sabapati. Yeah, Harish, uh, the way it works is uh, uh, you can uh, uh, provide VoIP minutes through multiple uh, SIP gateways. Okay, so there are premium gateways, there are uh, uh, gray market gateways. Uh, so all these uh, players are available. So there would be people who would be willing to give it even at 40 paise per minute for US. Okay, so those would have uh, typically they would have issues in terms of the quality of the calls that are being done. So what we do here is we work with multiple SIP trunking companies. OK, so we also provide redundancy for the VOIP minutes that which we provide you. So for instance, when you subscribe to VOIP service from here, even if there is a problem with the SIP gateway, it will actually uh, switch over or fail over to the next route that which is available so that as a user, you would not have any issues when you're making those calls. So in terms of comparison, in terms of competitive rates and all that, we are fairly competitive. And in case you come across somebody who's able to provide quality and at the same time is able to uh, give it at a slightly lower cost, we should be able to match it. Okay. Okay, I think uh, that is a uh, that answers uh, you know Arishar's uh, question on uh, the rates. Uh, I think a lot of questions are coming in, so I will not be following uh, in an order. I am just picking up the random. Uh, so we have a question. Um, I have a client who dial domestic and as well as international call. Can it be configured to the same server? Okay. So the question is, um, you know, a customer will be dialing both. Uh, international and domestic so you wonder you will have a VoIP as well as maybe a PRI line on the same server yes absolutely 
you can configure both on the same uh, IPPBX or, or, or the LCR gateway? The answer is yes. Uh, okay, Mr. Moses has answered, uh, asked a question. Any call denied table for outbound call? I didn't get that. Uh, any call denied table for outbound call? Uh, I'm not very sure um, what, okay, uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, if he's uh, aligned still, please please give us little clarity by typing so that we will be able to understand better the question. Um, so another uh, question is, Gus, uh, we should calculate cost based on AST and not on average stock time. Not sure if it has any impact on its math. Gus, we should uh, calculate cost based on average handling time and not uh, average stock time. Average handling Okay, okay. I think, uh, 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 see, uh, the average handling time and average stock time, all these are call center reporting purpose. When it comes to the billing of a telephony uh, solution, it is actually the stock time, right? See, the average you, have you, uh, have you reached the average? You know, not, no service provider uh, will take your average talk time and uh, put their cost into their minutes. No. So the it is, uh, in a, when it comes to a, a telephony billing or a VoIP billing, it is per call uh, uh, talk time, uh, right? It's actual duration of the call, okay? So uh, it will not have much AHT and ATT. The call costs are not decided based on AHT or ATT. It is actually the talk time, the actual talk time, actual CDR time. Another question is that uh, in case I need to change the VoIP service provider, is it possible? Yes, absolutely. You can change the VoIP service provider. There is no challenge. You can you can change the VoIP service provider. But you know, as Astex uh, is started providing VoIP, the more you know we have uh, we have service providers to support us with the quality and the licenses, so that you will uh, get a best, better service. So I think we we hope that we will not have a chance of changing the service provider. Um, Arvind has asked, please explain how LCR gateway works. Please explain uh, in more detail how much it will cost. Okay, I think one, I think how LCR gateway works, we have already explained. Uh, how much it costs, I think uh, I will not be able to share um, in the webinar. Uh, I think which will be shared, uh, you know, separately based on the request. Please reach out to your sales people. We will work out. Do we also provide a DID along? The ID is one service and the VoIP minutes. So there are two things when it comes to VoIP. One is VoIP minutes. The other one is the virtual number or a DID. So both will be provided. Okay. So for example, a customer wanted to make outbound calls to US. So he will be more using VoIP minutes, right? But at the same time, he wanted to receive incoming calls. Then he should have a DID. So a US calling customer may require either one VoIP or DID or both based on his process. So the answer is that we provide both, yes. Um, okay, who will set the rules in LCR Gateway? What would minimum number of carrier count in doing so? Okay, okay. Who will set the, see, I think that the, the rules can be set, will be set by our technical people based on the customer uh, requirement. Okay, uh, no voice again, can we use void? for voice broadcasting. Okay, okay. So there are a lot of requests. Uh, we also will get the VoIP, uh, you know, the voice broadcasting or robo calling or uh, the voice blasting. Yes, the VoIP can be used and a lot of international voice blasting is done through VoIP. Uh, Pinto Sir has asked a question in VoIP cost per minute to US is uh, 60 paise. So if the call duration is one minute, 15 seconds, would it cost, uh, okay. Okay, it's a good question because 60 paise per minute, okay, it depends on the pulse rate, okay. So his question is that, um, you know, uh, it's one minute, 15 seconds, will it, could it cost be 20 paise? No, it will be, uh, yeah, it will be, it will be one rupee 20 paise, exactly. But at the same time, what we can do is that, yeah, based on the pulse rate, Okay, we can if based on the see. Uh, <coughs> so here the average handling time comes into picture. If customer says that my average call duration will be in the range of 40 minutes or 40 seconds or a 30 seconds, we can provide them a 30 seconds pulse rate. Okay, 
in that case this uh, one one minute uh, 15 second uh, scenario the cost will be much less than 1.2 paise okay damian has asked a question um, uh, from damian from kenya can it possible to call through wipe and terminate to local gsm numbers ha ah, okay can it oh, one minute one minute one minute okay can it possible to call through wipe and terminate to local gsm number um, I think, uh, uh, I don't know what exactly, uh, is it within the country, then we will have a legal restrictions we have to see. But when we say uh, calling to US through wipe, it is terminating to the landlines and mobiles. Okay, I think uh, this is uh, Damien from uh, Kenya. So we have a minute for Kenya, See from, but uh, uh, from India, uh, I am calling to Kenya, I, I can use wipe. Okay, it will be cheaper than I'm calling from mobile or landline, but I can call your mobile number or landline number. It get terminates there. Okay, but the to answer your question, yes, we, it terminates at, into a GSM. Yeah, but it depends. But in within Kenya, if you take wipe, maybe uh, calling within within Kenya, it will be more cheap uh, mobile to mobile than wipe to mobile. Okay, so it depends uh, country to country. Okay. The answer it is a HD has okay okay um, okay uh, okay Mr Moses from Fiji in Fiji we have a PABX program for extensions to direct national national local that is from the somebody please please mute please mute uh, I, uh, okay, I think Moses, uh, it is not a question. I think it's just a clarification he has given. There is no question in that. Uh, okay. Can I port wipe DID, which I'm already using with the different uh, provider to ask? I think that is a good question. Can I port wipe DID? Yes, the, the porting of DIDs, wipe DIDs is very much possible. If you are already using some other service provider, wipe DID or a toll free, which can be ported to uh, us, we can put it. I think within. I don't know, uh, Sabapati. Uh, uh, what will be the uh, time taken to port a uh, service provider for a DAT to our service? Approximately, uh, it will take about a week's time because we'll have to write and then get it done. And uh, okay. it also depends upon the number of channels that they are using and all that. Okay, so it can be much lower okay. also the time period. Okay. okay. Typically, typically it is one week, right? Okay. 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 So we have uh, one more question. How will you do LCR if carrier uh, alternate traffic? Okay. Uh, uh, I think a lot of background noise. Uh, please, please mute. Please mute. So, okay. The question I'm reading. How will you do LCR if carriers don't CC alternate traffic based on ACD? No, I think it is. Uh, LCR is not dependent on the carrier because LCR decides which carrier it has to choose. Right? So uh, I'm not very very clear about the question, what they mean. But see the, the actually the LCR decides which carrier it has to choose. Right? LCR will have a set of carriers to choose from, and based on the configuration, LCR chooses the carrier. Okay? It is not the carrier which should allow the LCR to route it. Can decide which uh, uh, provider to choose. Okay, I think uh, uh, I have answered uh, uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, lot of I, I don't know whether uh, we have missed out any calls. Okay, one more Moses. What I mean is the class of restriction for extension on outbound calls. Can it be done? Been trying to, but what I mean. Is for extensions. Okay, I think Moses, you are trying to uh, you are trying to ask is you know based on extension you wanted to restrict restrict whether you can make domestic calls or international calls or ISD you no know, STD calls. We can do this. We can do this. Briefing. I think somebody is in traffic. Please mute. Please mute. Somebody is in traffic. Please mute. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we can we can achieve this uh, doing a doing a prefix. For example, 
You see, in Astex, if somebody wanted to make an international call, he has to dial one two one prefix first. Okay, based on prefix, you can you can restrict uh, how an extension can you know make the calls. It can be IP calls or you know uh, you know domestic calls based on prefix. Otherwise, there is or we can do a hard coding in the back end also for a certain extent. But but the challenge is that if you hard code one extension, can we say this particular extension? Uh, 1000 can make only international calls yes then you will not be able to call domestic calls you can do uh, international calls only so we can hard code it or we can do uh, we can do a based routing also so i hope i have answered your question if not please think do we have to do recharge yes please somebody uh, somebody uh, somebody is in traffic please please mute i think it is disturbing others um, do we have, have to do a minimum recharge yes we will have a minimum recharge criteria but that minimum recharge based on countries okay it can be 300 dollars or 500 dollars based on the country uh, specific uh, how much salah okay how much salah uh, how many calls the lcr can carry currently through all available ports so i think currently have a 30 concurrent and 60 concurrent uh, call uh, 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 LCR which can support 30 and 60. That is the two models: single port and dual port PR is available, which is uh, which is which is available. 60 concurrent, 30 concurrent calls and 60 concurrent calls. Okay. Any any more questions, please? We can have uh, we can have five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay, thanks. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, thank you everyone for joining our uh, uh, our call. Uh, we have people uh, joining uh, from the across the globe, from Africa, Middle East, Asia, Fiji, you know, all these places. Thank you so much for your trust. Uh, we will be sharing this presentation and uh, the recording of the uh, session. Okay, hope you people have enjoyed uh, uh, the presentation, and uh, we look forward. Uh, to get more queries from you, inquiries from you, and any any clarifications or any any prospects or any opportunities, please reach your respective people. We would be happy. Thank you so much. We will meet again with the next session. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.